Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem four dash five. So in this problem, it is given that the assembly consists of steel rod C B and an aluminium rod B A. So C B is steel rod and A B is aluminium rod, and each having diameter of twelve millimeter. If rod is subjected to axial loading at end A and the and at coupling B, so at point A the load is given and the, at coupling at point B the load is shown. Determine the displacement of coupling B and and A. So you have to find the displacement of at coupling which is delta B and displacement of point A. Here it is not given to find out displacement of coupling B with respect to A. Instead, it is given to find the displacement of point B and A. The unstretched length of each segment is shown. So this is three meter and this is two meter. Neglect the size of connection at B and C, and assume that they are rigid. E of steel is given, and E of aluminium is also given. So you have to find the displacement of point B and A. So again, you can see the loading is shown over here. So if you cut the uh, steel rod at this point, so you have to draw the free body diagram. I will show you. So this is. portion of cb this is coupling and this is shaft or rod ab mm -hmm. at a the load is given as 18 kN clear at point b the load is shown that is 6 kN and at this point we do not know the load that let this load is p b c so from this diagram you can see 18 kN load is in this direction and 6 kN is in this direction so we need uh, 12 kN over here 12 kN in order to keep it in equilibrium because 12 plus 6 is 18 in this direction and 18 is in direction both will uh, uh, bring it in equilibrium condition okay so pcb pbc is this clear now we can easily apply delta b is equal to pl divided by ae clear pbc is given is 12 kN uh, again since this is tensile so it will be 12 kN so 12 multiply by 10 to the power 3 length of this rod is 3 meter so 3 divided by area diameter is given as 12 mm so it will be equal to pi by 4 and we will convert meter into millimeter so 12 mm is equal to 0.012 meter whole square and e for this steel is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 so when you calculate it you will get displacement of point b which is equal to 0.00 159 meter or uh, it is equal to 1.59 mm so this is the displacement of point b now we will move toward displacement at point a now displacement at point a is equal to displacement of point b plus displacement of point a so delta b plus displacement due to point a delta a is total displacement of point a so delta b is equal to 1.59 okay for delta a delta a we will cut this rod over here and the load is given as 18 kN and here the load pab which is equal to 18 in order to keep this it in equilibrium condition so plus pab will be equal to 18 into 10 to the power 3 into length is 2 meter divided by area area is equal to pi by 4 into 
0.012 because this rod is also 12 millimeter in diameter and E of this aluminium is equal to 70 gigapascal. So 70 into 10 is to power 9. So when you solve it, you will get displacement of point A is equal to 0 0.00 six one four meter this is in millimeter okay so you have to convert it into millimeter which will be equal to zero point double zero one five nine plus this so this will be equal to me in meter and when you convert it into meter it will be equal to six point one four millimeter so this is the answer of our question we have find out the displacement of point b we have also calculated the displacement of point a i hope you have enjoyed it thank you for watching